Welcome, street fighters, to another thrilling journey into the world of street fighting. Today, we're delving into the enigmatic and formidable character, Ed. Ed, dubbed initially the Bandage Boy, has carved his name into the annals of gaming history as the psycho-powered boxer. Hailing from the Street Fighter series, Ed burst onto the scene in Street Fighter IV as a mysterious, non-playable character before finally stepping into the spotlight as a playable fighter in the second season of Street Fighter V. But who is Ed? And what sets him apart from the rest of the roster? Strap in because we're about to uncover the secrets behind this captivating character. Balrog eventually found Ed, while the latter searched for treasure around the Sin Laboratory. Although he decides to ignore Ed at first, upon begging Balrog to help him, Balrog notices a symbol glowing on Ed's hand. Balrog rescues him from the crumbling Sin Laboratory, believing that it is his, Balrog's, lucky day. Their nefarious plans? To mold him into a potential substitute body for the tyrannical M. Bison himself. As we prepare to enter the ring with Ed, let's unravel the mysteries surrounding this psycho power-wielding warrior and discover the true extent of his power. So, grab your controllers and get ready to unleash your inner fighter as we embark on an unforgettable journey with Ed in the world of Street Fighter. Ed's name has an interesting origin. According to Takayuki Nakayama, one of the brains behind Street Fighter, Ed's name stems from the term ED used in anime production to denote ending scenes and music. Nakayama initially referred to him as the ED boy in a note, which the designer then misunderstood as his name, but Nakayama liked the sound of it and decided to keep it. Ed had a unique control scheme in Street Fighter Fuff. It wasn't just about gameplay, it was designed as practice for a feature in the upcoming Street Fighter VI called Modern Controls. With this setting now a part of Street Fighter VI, Ed has transitioned to regular command inputs for his attacks, making him more versatile and accessible to players. But that's not all. Have you noticed Ed's moves in Street Fighter VI, particularly his psycho flicker and kicks? They're named and modeled after the flicker jab, a punch technique invented by none other than professional boxer Thomas Hearns. This technique gained fame in the boxing manga Hajime no Ippo, notably used by the series antagonist Ryo Mashiba. Talk about drawing inspiration from unexpected places. Regarding inspiration, Ed seems to draw parallels with SNK's iconic fighter Rock Howard from Garu Mark of the Wolves. Both characters share origins tied to their series' main antagonists, with Rock even taking a morally ambiguous path similar to Ed's mentorship under Balrog and M. Bison. In many ways, Ed embodies the spirit of the new generation fighters, much like Rock and Alex before him, as he hones his skills and embraces his fighting style. After Balrog and M. Bison, he represents the next wave of formidable challenges in the world of Street Fighter. Starting with the Street Fighter of Four series, Ed's journey kicks off with a dark and mysterious backstory. Initially glimpsed in Rose's Street Fighter IV ending, Shadaloo abducted Ed to become a vessel for none other than the nefarious M. Bison himself. He bears the mark of Shadaloo on his hand and possesses a hint of psycho power, setting the stage for his tumultuous path ahead. Enter Balrog, the rugged boxer with a heart of gold, while scouring the Sin Laboratory for treasure. Balrog stumbles upon Ed, initially intending to ignore him. However, upon hearing a symbol glowing in Ed's hand and his plea for help, Balrog changes his heart and rescues him from the crumbling laboratory. Despite Ed's claims of having no abilities, Balrog sees potential in him and decides to take him under his wing, setting the foundation for their unlikely partnership. Fast forward to the Street Fighter V series, where Ed's journey of self-discovery and growth takes flight. Constantly haunted by nightmares and plagued by premature aging, Ed finds himself grappling with inner turmoil as he matures into a teenager. Alongside Balrog, Ed embarks on a quest to combat the likes of Guile and Zangief while wrestling with his fears and uncertainties. As the events of A Shadow Falls unfold, Ed's bond with Balrog is tested. With the looming threat of M. Bison's spirit possessing him, Ed must confront his deepest fears and insecurities. A poignant moment of conflict erupts between Ed and Balrog, revealing the complex dynamics of their relationship. Despite their differences, it becomes clear that beneath Balrog's tough exterior lies a genuine care for Ed, 
and vice versa. Months pass, and Ed transforms remarkably, becoming a muscular young adult with newfound resolve and purpose. Taking control of his own destiny, Ed sets out with a band of allies by his side, forging a new path as the commander of an organization reminiscent of Shadaloo. In the aftermath of A Shadow Falls, Ed stands alongside Balrog, their futures intertwined as they walk away from the remnants of Shadaloo. It's a moment of closure and new beginnings, marking the culmination of Ed's journey from captive to commander. First up, we have Balrog. Their dynamic is quite the roller coaster. Initially, Balrog saves Ed from the crumbling Sin Laboratory, though his motives may have been self serving. Despite this rocky start, a genuine friendship blooms between them as they traverse the events of Street Fighter V. Balrog takes on a mentor or fatherly role for Ed, and they stick together through thick and thin, even leaving together after the downfall of Shadaloo. However, Things take a dramatic turn in Ed's story when he tries to distance himself from Balrog to protect him, leading to a heartbreaking confrontation and eventual departure. Next in line is the infamous M. Bison. Ed's connection with Bison is chillingly dark. Initially intended as a vessel for Bison's soul, Ed finds himself haunted by Bison's presence, even experiencing nightmares where Bison's soul threatens him. Enter Falk, who becomes an integral part of Ed's life after he rescues her from a Shadaloo base. Their bond grows strong, with Ed viewing her as an older sister figure. Their partnership is marked by mutual trust and support as they navigate the tumultuous world around them. Last but not least, we have JP. Ed's keen intuition allows him to see through JP's deception. He's on a mission to thwart JP's sinister plans of manipulating him for the revival of Shadaloo, determined to protect himself and others from falling prey to JP's schemes. As we wrap up our exploration of Ed's journey, let's take a closer look at his unique fighting style and abilities. Ed is a formidable fighter who blends boxing techniques with the dark power of psycho power, creating a style known as psycho boxing. This fusion of physical prowess and supernatural energy makes him a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. In Street Fighter V, Ed's appearance showcases his proficiency in kickboxing adding a dynamic element to his fighting repertoire. However, in Street Fighter VI, he opts for a more traditional approach, focusing solely on punches to deliver devastating blows to his opponents. But it's not just his fists that pack a punch. Ed's mastery of psycho power allows him to unleash a barrage of projectiles and tendrils, striking down foes from a distance with precision and power. Yet. Despite his formidable abilities, Ed is not without his flaws. His short temper and foul mouth, inherited from his former mentor Balrog, often lead him into conflict and trouble. So, as Ed continues his quest for redemption and liberation, we can only imagine the trials and triumphs that await him on the road ahead. Will he emerge victorious or will the shadows of his past consume him? Only time will tell. And with that, we conclude our deep dive into the captivating world of Ed. What are your thoughts on this complex character and his journey? Share your insights in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of Street Fighter.